All right, you guys, I thought I would show you all the grocery haul that me and Nick just had. Um, you will see lots of things back there that are not, and those are for Nick. Um, I tried to do, I tried to get a lot of things that are organic, gluten-free, dairy-free. There will be a couple things that don't meet that criteria, but for the most part, it does. Also, excuse this really bad sunburn that I got with the shape of ears. I had like a serum on and then I put my sunscreen on and I think the serum let my face burn really bad when I was out in the sun. So that happened. All right, moving forward. So for this grocery haul, I guess I will start with produce. I got a little like medium sized container of pre-cut strawberries because these were actually, that is so funny, I'm an idiot, never mind. Anyways, <laughs> I don't like cutting strawberries and I find out I let them go bad when I have to cut them. So I like them pre-cut, because I'm, I'm, if y'all follow me on any social media, you know I'm lazy in the kitchen. Just who I, I hate the kitchen. Then I got three things of organic raspberries, because these were on sale for three, three for six dollars, which is actually a really good deal. Then I just got a tiny bag of baby spinach because that's another thing. I just feel like I like to buy the plastic tubs because I feel like it stays fresher longer, but it also comes with more and I waste that space as a good amount. Then I got um, some organic red delicious apples because they're delicious, obviously. Then moving on, I got some cabbage. I will, I think last time I made cabbage, which was forever ago, I sauteed it and I will obviously just do that again. Um, unless I find a nice like unique recipe for it. Um, but funny story, when me and Nick first got married a couple years ago, we bought this and then we tried to make salad that night for dinner and we didn't understand like what was wrong with our salad. And it was cause we bought cabbage. So cabbage, I actually do enjoy this in the summertime. Put a little vinegar on it. That's how my mom made it when I grew up at least. So. What else? Organic bananas, because I love bananas. Actually this weekend I eat um, bananas on rice cakes with peanut butter. So I've got some caramel rice cakes, organic, and then I can also put these in a smoothie in the morning because I've actually been craving smoothies again. I think I wore myself out so I didn't crave them for a while. But now I'm craving bananas again. All right, and then I got a red onion to chop up and saute. Actually, I think I'm gonna take the red onion with some peppers and roast it in um, the oven. So a lot of things I got, I in my previous video, I mentioned reading the book Woman Code. Now it talks about um, getting in sync with your cycle, knowing what phase of your cycle you're in. There are four phases to your cycle. So she gives like a list of ideal, ideal foods to eat during that phase of your cycle. Um, so just to try to get more in sync with my hormones, I'm going to try really hard to stay focused on only eating the things on that list during those phases of my cycle. Um, so that's why I got red onion and cabbage this time instead of like a bunch of other stuff. Corn was also on the list. I got frozen organic sweet corn. Just because I was gonna get um, canned corn, I don't know. I decided to get this, uh, I don't know. And then I got some frozen organic broccoli. Just because I don't want to cut it. What else? Sweet potato fries, because duh. This is not really any, no trans fat, so they're really not that bad. It's only 24 carbs. Store when I'm craving actual french fries. Moving on, I got this brand of dairy-free yogurt, because I've never had dairy-free yogurt before, and now I have to switch to that. See that? Huh? <laughs> oh, I know why you're being out there. Skip. 
skinny girl dressing. Honey Dijon. It always wants to just focus on my face, not what I'm trying to show you guys. So that's the dressing I got to put on the spinach. Then moving on to meats. Well, I guess you don't really call this meat. Um, Fish. I know, I was trying to act <laughs> like it's a category. No. But it's not really a meat. So fish. It's gonna be really loud. All right. Um, so for the sinking of my cycle this week, it is flounder or cod. I chose flounder. And then I can also have a little bit of salmon. Um, and then I can have salmon again starting next week, I think. So I just went ahead and got this because Nick likes it too for us to have as a snack. Or... Put it on a cracker. Great. Yeah, but we didn't get any crackers or anything. Yeah, I know, but I'm we're just not saying if, that. If, they, if they have that. Yeah, this actually is really good for if breakfast they got the sandwiches. Calories. Breakfast sandwiches are great for this, or if you can have lots of grainy, gluten loaded things. Put the fish on there. So, this is smoked salmon. You can just, you literally just take it out of the pack and eat it, and it's delicious. All right, move it on. Sorry for that interruption. Moving on to. Wait, wait, wait. We obviously got chicken. You don't care to see that. Where did my... Oh, <laughs> I got lean pork. Um, on the list was to eat lamb this week. I was gonna be bold and try to do that. Um, but there is like 30 grams of fat in one serving of lamb. And that's like more than half of my days not worth it to me so i got lean pork <laughs> for when i'm not eating chicken you actually really just don't eat a lot of meat in general on the cycle diet it's just more fish it's kind of it's like well you the meats and stuff you do eat need to be organic they need to be lean um other than that i feel like it's almost like a vegetarian paleo type diet where you just you only want things from the earth but you know so that's that. Um, and then for a snack for when I want something sweet and salty, cause I am allowed to have nuts. Um, I got the Wholesome Medley Second Nature. Um, I freaking love the Wholesome Medley from Second Nature um, because just the nuts and the dark chocolate in it. And then it's just dry like cherries and cranberries. Oh my God. It's so good. It's so good. Um, and then, this definitely isn't on the list, but this is just like I said, that occasional sweet tooth thing. Um, Cause even though it is supposed to be a little more like paleo, the most important part is gluten-free, dairy-free. So I feel like as long as, as long as I have mostly produce and fish, then it is okay for me to have something like this every once in a while. And I'm not even a huge popcorn person, but if you give me a bag of pretzels, even gluten-free pretzels, I'm gonna sit down and eat the entire bag until it's gone, whereas this is just little individualized size bags. Free. So I would just rather have that, not that pretzels have you, but this is easier to portion control <laughs> because it's not as salty and that's where pretzels get me. Then I did get a bag of, this little baby bag of gluten-free popped rice crisp this is the sweet chili heard great things about it and then of course nick picked him up some starbucks coffee um so i've been doing decaf coffee not this except this is the one week that i'm allowed to have caffeine so i'll get to enjoy this and then i have almond milk all my gluten-free Cheerios. I need some. I need some sweets in my life too. And then I got the organic edamame and manga bean fettuccine because if you just get a gluten-free pasta, like a normal pasta that's gluten-free, the macros are the most unfriendliest thing I've ever seen. Um, it's just I would rather. It's like, yeah, I can't afford to eat way more than 45 grams of carbs in a serving, but the serving's like this big in normal pasta. And that's really sad. I need more volume than that. 
So, you get something like this, where it's two grams of fat, 21 gram carbs, and 22 protein, which I have a hard time hitting protein goals. This is a lot friendlier and better for someone on a diet like this. And then I got a Suja fre uh, fresh fruit and veggie pressed, cold pressured, organic, non GMO, blah, 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 green juice for me to have in the mornings or in the after days, like if I don't feel like having a lot of veggies. That's not only an issue for me. And that is gonna conclude the grocery haul. I hope you guys liked it. Like I said, just stick to, um, my hormones and the sinking of my cycle and I'm starting some new medication at the beginning of my next period um so you know just trying to keep pretty much for the most part a clean diet not a lot of processed stuff pretty much the only processed thing here is this this and this sweet potato fries and those are all things I'm not gonna eat on the reg Oh, and I got these. Vegan, um, gluten-free beet chips. So beets are super good for a female. Um, they're great for menstrual cycle symptoms. They're great for getting you regular. They're great for cleaning you out. Um, beets have tons of benefits. Did a post on all my Instagram. Um, yeah. So I figured I'd try these. I don't know if I like them or not. Because beets are one of those things where they have to be cooked just right to enjoy them, in my opinion. So, we'll see if I like them. But, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed this grocery haul. If you're looking for just... I mean, I, I got a ton of stuff. And it's all pretty much healthy. And then I got, you know, the three fun things. And when I was like, I'm not even going to have yogurt anymore. And then I realized that there is dairy-free, gluten-free, blah, 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 yogurt. So that is what I got. You can do it. Um, oh, that is gonna conclude this video. Oh, and the reason for such lean things, um, because I am trying to cut about 10 pounds per uh, my doctor, because it's not that I'm near overweight, but I think going off my antidepressants, how fast the weight came on um, is what threw my hormones off mess with my endometriosis more and maybe not have a cycle and not ovulate. So I'm trying to cut the 10 pounds, get my hormones going back a little more with the clean eating and losing the weight and not exercising like insanely, like keeping a good five days a week thing, no intense crazy cardio to where it's gonna mess me up anymore. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'm gonna quit rambling now and enjoy some of this food and put it all away. Thank you guys so much for watching. Instagram will be right here. And I'll catch you guys in the next video.